We have been having a good time and especially on the topics that we've been dealing with and especially today uh, that Mr. Isaac was addressing the issues that had to do with uh, technology because that's where most young people are looking at to say, let's talk about the technology, let's talk about startup. As part of my, my responsibility as a non-executive director on Exaro board is to really lend a hand in encouraging young entrepreneurs to inspire them, I think to have them have a look at life differently. And if in any way that my message today was to at least trigger something, and why I'm excited to be part of the Xaro uh, team is the fact that uh, Xaro do realize that where the future lies and where the future investments lies, and they've identified water, energy, and, and food security are the three areas that we're going to focus on going forward uh, in terms of future investment as a business. So certainly uh, that's where the real excitement lies. I think it's an important event in that it puts the information out there um, and it's also an opportunity to engage with people that have been working in that field and have got some insights but it also is just an awareness so that you are alert to what is going on around you. Yeah, I think understanding that the fourth industrial revolution is inevitable and learning from previous revolutions that people who adapt to that change and embrace that change are the ones that ultimately succeed. One of the elements that I think is often overlooked is the humanity aspect, the human aspect. We need human interaction to make people resilient. So the question is how do we deal with it? And I think for me it's tremendously important to keep stressing the fact that we shouldn't forget the human aspect. Well, the, the key message will be the need to upskill. They need to upskill as a worker but also upskill as a small business owner. So mine for today was to share my experience in areas that I've been involved in and as to how small businesses can actually start. And as such, we need to get young people and entrepreneurs first to employ themselves and later make sure that they create employment for others. I think you would to create forums that people are able to, to deal um, mostly with challenges or being a young entrepreneur. I think forums like this are important to encourage young people to, to come and test the ideas um, and also see if they're on the right track and also extend the network of people that they deal with. For us uh, as Exari, we're so fortunate that we've got a CEO with a big vision in the name of Mkoli Simkojo. And, and we're doing this not because there's, there's law or any kind of regulation, but we think it's just one of those uh, levers that this country can use in order to change the social ills in South Africa and make South Africa a better place to live.